Hey guys, Sean Bean here. Today we have actual information about a new dimension update, Counterin. And look at this one right here. It is going to be the How 2A. So 2A Lulu will be Ariel 3A. It is already the last month of 2020. We have gone through so many new content. 2020 is the year that summoners will actually listen to the community. Really, really impressive year for summoners as well, to be honest. This note will be the last death note for the year, which is going to be about a new dimension. As you can see right here, that's the new dimension. The form dimension is called Calderon. If anyone has any idea how it's going to be called, <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below. The new dimension is the land of the dead, filled with dark energy, and we'll have Grim Ripper and How. It consists of two dungeons, the two-way dungeon and the rune dungeon. The new second awakening here and after two-way, they also appreciate the way we call it, will be How and Grim Ripper. The entrance condition is to include a monster of each type. Huh? The new entrance condition. In this dimension, summoners must include monster of four types, attack, defense, HP, and support. Ooh, wow. They are actually acknowledging the type. Finally, something that is sometimes very confusing in this game. Like how Bulldozer is HP type and Bellanus is defense type, for example. But anyway, let's talk about a new 2A. That looks really adorable. That looks like the Pokemon, the, the Magnet Pokemon. But that looks really adorable. So, from 1 turn into 3, Kage Bushi no just... <laughs> And the Grim Ripper look very badass. As you know, 2A monster not only get their appearance upgrade, but also their skill. We actually have the skill for two unit here. We'll have full skill when they decide to update probably next week from now. The first skill doesn't really change, but the second skill get improvement. Remove all harmful effect on a target and grant immunity for one turn. In addition, recover both your HP and the target by 25%. So it is like an upgraded Fran skill too. You cleanse, you heal, you also buff immunity to protect the unit, which is really awesome. Skill 3, remove heal, also get some improvement. Remove all harmful effects compared to before, only remove two harmful effects. So it's a full cleanse and recover HP of all allies by 25%. So by now it is equivalent to some sort of anvil second skill which is a full cleanse and heal, but grant immunity on all allies who had no full effect for two turn. Two turn immunity. If the how, if Lulu take turn one and use this skill, you get two turn immunity. If you compare this to Ariel, it's just, <laughs> I think Lulu is gonna be a staple choice for those who don't have Veladru as a cleanser immunity unit instead of running Veladru front that you see everywhere in high rank RTA, you can actually now run Lulu and Fran together. You have a lot of healing, cleansing, and immunity. Very solid unit looking very good right now. Dark Grim Ripper 2A, skill one doesn't really change. Skill two doesn't really change, but he gained instant turn after using the skill. Not full attack bar, a confirmed turn into skill three, that is an AoE stun. Stun the target for one turn, recover your attack bar by 20% each. I'm assuming each target. So if you have five enemies, usually in TOA, you get 100% attack bar if you land a full team stun. If the enemy is under continuous damage. So you skill two and apply dots, and then you skill three to stun, and then gain attack bar back to using skill two much quicker. Very, very amazing unit. If you have this guy, I recommend to build for TOA. Very quick turn cycling. After he gain a turn after using Doomsday, assuming you land a full team stun, if you have like a math to reduce your cooldown, I think you can plank immediately after that into another Doomsday. And it's just a lot of turn cycling with this guy. Now this is the new dungeon, the new boss. Let's take a look at this skill. Attack all enemies and recover HP proportionate to the damage dealt. So, can already see heal block being important. This attack is not all effect that resists death, just to counter shit like Garo. 
principle of casualty. The attack speed increases whenever the ancient guardian or minions get attacked from the enemies. The increased attack speed reset the start of the turn. This is the same skill as the other bosses. In addition, the attack power increases permanently whenever the ancient guardian get a turn. So this is to counter people using attack bar reduction because you can never stop the boss from actually getting a turn because of how fast he becomes after you attack him a couple of different times. But this is the same skill as the other bosses. Unity of counter run. The ancient guardian the minion increase the aura of death of the enemy proportion to the damage their attack inflicts. The defeated target cannot be revived during the battle. In addition, the HP recovery amount of the enemy will be decreased by 25% per alive minion. So I'm assuming this is to be anti-perna. No revive with perna and the healing also get reduced. With this, I think you should kill the boss as soon as possible as always. So things like Taranis that used to be pretty good in Illunia or let's say Eladro for save team. That is not looking good for this one right here. A new effect called Aura of Death will be added to the battle against the Ancient Garden in Dimension Counter. It's the effect that increased proportion to the amount of damage you receive from the boss and minions. The amount of damage inflicted to the enemy decreased and the amount of damage received from the enemy increase. Depending on the degree, Aura of Death, the Aura of Death can be reduced through HP recovery. The amount of damage inflicted to the enemies decrease and the amount of damage received from the enemies increase. So you do less damage and you receive more damage. That sounds scary. The more the Aura of Death accumulate, the stronger the effect power get. But so it will be important to utilize monster who can heal. We have prepared an image of screen that is currently under development for better understanding. Uh, is that the Aura of Death? That's accumulating. Is that number 45? That's, that's a pretty big number. So you want to heal, but he has a passive that reduce healing. The HP recovery amount of the enemy will be decreased by 25% per alive minion. Damn, that's scary. <laughs> I think you need to kill this boss as soon as possible. It's not about healing, honestly. Because the longer you stay, the more the aura of death will accumulate. And when the aura of death accumulate, it means you deal less damage to the enemy and you receive more damage from the enemy. Definitely not about staying in the dungeon. You want to deal with this thing as soon as possible. Looking at these minions, I think the fine death knight can potentially one-shot somebody together with a lich if they get lucky with their skill too. I mean the skill 3 of death knight as well. Wind Hell Lady, AoE defense break, stun, stealing buff, dark vampire, taking buff away, attack by reduce as well. Scary. Phase 1 special skill. Inflict continuous damage for 3 turns with each attack and gains a turn instantly if the enemy dies. In addition, recover HP by 20% when a turn ends. Heal block is definitely really important against this boss. And also, continuous damage for 3 turns. Scary. They don't want to share the skill of the other 2 phase, so we don't have anything to see here. So cleanser and healing. Pretty much 2-way Lulu, I think it's going to be very good against the boss because you need to cleanse the dots and you need to heal as well. So I think Lulu is going to be pretty good here. Like how Vigor is really good in the previous dungeon that you farm Vigor in. The reward will have Swift Rune. Oh shit. You cannot just farm Illunia forever because Swift Ancient Rune. Oh my god. It's like farming giants over again. The rest of the set are not too crazy. I really hope they put God and Determination instead of Tolerance in here. So if you farm this, you're also farming rune for your Tricaru. If you are still working on your Tricaru. Wow, that's about it. New boss that looks very, very scary with the aura of death. But that was the death note for today. I hope you guys are excited because I am. We need new content in the game as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!